All right, so here is, uh, well, the I just don't want to ship it. So we're going to take this in and see if Aaron thinks he can sell this in his store. I think he can. It goes for about $100, I think, online. There's not very many of them. But uh, just something I don't want to mess with. But I think here in his store, he can probably sell it. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. What you want for it? I mean, basically, I, I think put it in here whatever you think you can sell for it. What do you want for it? I, I don't care. <laughs> put it in here whatever you think you can get for it. My, my uh, throw at you is... Uh, we split it, and uh, my half is store credit. Okay. Does that work for you? This I think is probably uranium glass. I think. I might take a shot on it. I didn't bring my light, but it looks right. So I don't know how I would sell it, but it's it's cool. That's pretty neat. Pump pottery from Hawaii. Don't get overwhelmed easily, but in this place there's just so much stuff.
this is cool. ponies which actually you can see in that book some of these are very good this one might be good I'm gonna have to look it up but I have a good feeling about this one maybe this one too look at that thing <laughs> Federal glass, they're all 10 bucks a piece. Those are cool. Some old pepper shakers. Grandma used to have these. Desert Rose is what those are. Let's get this cool. That ah, guy's cool. Two bucks. So, oh, 12 bucks. This is cool. The Bridges to Babylon tour. It's an XL on an anvil tag, but they want 45 for it, and that's, I mean, that's a fair price. It might be worth a little bit more than that. It looks to be in really good condition, but there's not much meat left on that one. Some cool albums here, Black Sabbath. Twenty-five dollars. CCR. Yeah, they definitely have their albums priced. You guys know I like hats. <laughs> Here's an NRA hat up here. These you'd call scrambled eggs. If you're uh, putting the listing together, cool Mickey hat. That's neat. Somebody painted that on there. Paul Revere and the Rangers. That's cool. Man, it's. 195. There's cool stuff here. It's just for me hard to find stuff to make money on. Old Sea World hat. Tell me what I miss, guys, because there's too much here to take in and a lot that I just don't know about. And we're not even going to go through the whole store. There's too much. We'll stick downstairs today. We'll come back and we'll do an upstairs trip. And how do 
see you just how you know how you look at all this stuff. There's too much. My old underdog. I liked underdog. China, so it's not that old. Looks cool. Well, these are uh, very often cooler looking than they are worth anything. Yes, but not too old to have the foot. In the antique store, they had a lot of loud music in there. So I hope you saw a little bit of the store. We actually only toured around the bottom floor. There's an upper floor. And uh, maybe we'll go back in there and look at the top floor. It's just there's so much stuff, so much of it I don't know about. And the stuff I do know about, obviously the dealer knows about it too. Because it's priced up. But I think we got something cool. Uh, I've got it sitting back here. We'll show you. And we'll show you what we picked up from Aaron's Thrift Store as well. Okay, so from Aaron's, we got this guy. I've got to find where I set my uh, UV light, but I am pretty positive. You, you kind of know it once you see it, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is uranium glass. It'll glow under the UV light. It'll glow a, a, a neon green. Um, not particularly valuable. This is eight or nine bucks plus shipping, I think, right there. Um, this guy... You actually, I think we looked at it in the store, but this is um, pump pottery from somewhere in Hawaii. And we got a little monkey hanging out there. Uh, there are a few of these listed, and I don't think any sold here in the last little bit. So this is probably super long tail. I just liked it. I thought it was cool, and it was a neat piece. So uh, I'll have this hanging out with me here for a little bit, but pretty neat, you know, hand spun. I like it. Uh, eventually, maybe a $20 mug. I picked up these hats. This one I think I'm going to keep. I just, I don't have a green hat. So <laughs> I picked up this. This, uh, another very long tail. Shriners, Yuma, Arizona. Uh, I, I don't think particularly valuable, but uh, maybe a $15 hat eventually. I'm just a sucker for cool hats. Now, this is the piece we actually picked up that's going to make some money. Um, this is, I think we looked at it. It's Genie. Keep an eye out for these old phones. People love these old phones. Now, if this was a different color, we'd do a whole lot better. The bright colors do very well. But mid-century modern here, uh, just a neat phone. Now, there are a few. See, there's a little crack there. I think over here, yeah, there's a little chip missing. But overall, I mean, it's in very, very nice shape. It's just not a super desirable color. So I think... Out of this, we'll probably get uh, between 30 and 40 bucks. So not bad at all for an old phone. I think that's pretty cool. So over here, you saw me get the painted ponies, or at least you saw me looking at the painted ponies there at the, uh, at the antique mall. And some of these are very, very good. Now this one, I'm torn. I kind of want to keep this one. 
This one is uh, Spacious Skies, I think is what it's called. And it's obviously, it's the America theme. So we've got Mount Rushmore back here, Statue of Liberty. There's uh, there's the Capitol. Uh, let's see. And then it's actually on the other side. See, we've got, the, I've actually been there. That's the, uh, the raising of the flag by the Marines. Um, that is a really cool sight. Uh, there's a lot of, see, there's the memorial there. Th this is really, really cool piece. I think from 2004, no, 2008, this is a later one. You can see on the bottom there, they generally number these. So this is for Spacious Skies by Janet Snyder. And Painted Pony stuff can be pretty good. I'll put up on the screen here and show you some of the higher selling ones. You, you can be into the hundreds of dollars for a few of these, uh, like $500. So some of these can be very, very good, and they're very collectible. You just want to make sure if you find them anywhere that the things are intact, right? Estate sales and stuff, ears will break off, and maybe they'll glue them back on. So you want to make sure they haven't done that, the tail or whatever else. I'm torn because I, I kind of want to keep this guy. If I sell him, I'd be asking about 50 bucks. They sell between about 40 and 50 bucks. So I think what I'll do is uh, if I list him, I'm going to list him high. And uh, we'll see what happens. But this is a really, really cool piece. I love this one. Now, these over here, this one's a little bit more valuable. This one is the Woodland Hunter, I believe. Yeah, Woodland Hunter. If you can find these with the box, obviously, it's going to be a little bit better. But look how intricate these things are. This one, and there's two of them. I'm a little bit leery about shipping. It's, I mean, just because there's so many little pieces sticking off of here. I'm pretty good with my shipping, and I rarely have anything broken. But admittedly, these are a little intimidating. But still, this one is a really cool piece. And I'm thinking this one should be about 50 bucks, 45, 50 bucks. We paid 25 for each of these. So we certainly paid up, but they have a good sell through. And it's just something that I thought would be neat to have in my store. And so there's the Woodland Hunter. We'll move him out of the way. Over here, this is the Medicine Horse. This one, this one is the best one in terms of sell through. This is the best one that we got. Uh, this one sells very, very well. People like this one. I've seen this one sell all the way up to about uh, about 80 bucks, I think. So this is a very good one. It, it sells pretty steadily around 50, but sometimes higher. So, I mean, again, you can look how detailed these things are. I mean, it's no wonder that people want these things. This is beautiful. So that is probably one of the better ones. This is one of the more rare ones. Uh, I happened to look this one up just now. This is the Spirit Horse, Anasazi Spirit Horse. Um, there's only six of these listed on eBay right now, and uh, I think twice that many sold. So this one I've seen sell, like the other, like this guy, um, it, it, it sells pretty steadily at a lower price, but I've seen it sell as high as about 90 bucks. So I think, again, we're going to price high on this one because we paid up for it, right? But I don't mind these things hanging around. Uh, these things are really, really cool. So I, I'm excited about having them in my store. We are not going to make a whole lot of money. I mean, assume we get um, 90 bucks out of this one and we get 80 bucks out of this guy. Okay, so now we're at 170. This guy, you know, say we got 50 bucks. We're 230 and 50 bucks out of that one, 280. Okay, so 280 and we paid 100. So after fees and all that, we're, you know, maybe doubling, a little more than doubling our money, which is pretty good. But, you know, I like to try to get more when I can. Though, like I said, a lot of that stuff in the store there, it's just stuff I don't know about. These I just happened to have looked up before and knew about them. So keep an eye out for Painted Ponies. So there you go, guys. Thanks for riding along with me. I hope you learned a little bit of something, at least about Painted Ponies. Those are certainly something that you could come across at an antique mall or probably an estate sale as well. So some of them worth really good money. Uh, there are about 3,400 of them listed on eBay right now, 3,700 sold. So the sell-through is very, very good on those, though sometimes, you know, you're selling them for 
10 or 15 bucks, right? So you got to make sure you get the right ones. But some of them are big money. I appreciate you hanging out. We're going to cut this thing off right now. But before we do, I just want to throw out that reminder. Hit that thumbs up. That certainly helps us. Our subscription count is growing. So very, very cool. I'm excited about that. We're about 3,600 or so now. Pushing towards that 4,000. I got to come up with a 4,000 subscriber giveaway. I do have an old GoPro sitting around. We've got a GoPro 5 sitting over here on my shipping station. Maybe we'll give that away at 4,000. What do you guys think? GoPro giveaway? I don't know. We'll see. Thumbs up. Hit that bell. Hit the subscribe. And... We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.